Hi, welcome to Harish BI. This video is about sync slicers. If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and bell icon to get the latest updates. Let's get started. So here I have created a simple report page where I have a slicer called color name and I have different visuals. Right now, if I try to select a specific value on the slicer, right, I am selecting brown. So these visuals are filtered for a specific selection. Right now, I have uh, another page created with the same color name as a slicer and different visuals. Right, so if I try to select anything on this page, these visuals will be filtered. Right now, my requirement is I need to select any value on the page one on this slicer. I want to pass this selection to my other pages of this report. Right, let's say I, I have selected brown as a value here. I want to make sure the same brown is selected on this page because I don't want user to come and select again one more time on this page. So if that is the requirement, to achieve that requirement, uh, you have a feature called Sync Slicers in Power BI. So using Sync Slicers, you can pass the selection from page 1 into page 2. So with that, user no need to select ag again on the other pages. Let me show you how the Sync Slicers works. To enable the Sync Slicers, you have to go to view and you will see an option called Sync Slicer. So this will open a new window. So here by default you will not see anything. To see anything on the sync slicer pane, you have to choose your slicers on the page. Right. So this is our slicer. So when I select this slicer, you can see uh, this is selected. That view icon is selected for this page, which is nothing but the page name, uh, brand by sales. And uh, it is also selected for manufacturer. If I go here, so there is another uh, slicer called uh, same color name. So that is the reason it is selected by default on these two pages. So now our requirement, we have to sync the changes between these two pages. To make it sync, uh, I can select uh, this option. So this these check boxes. So once I have selected, now if I try to select a specific value here on this page one, let's say blue. If I go to manufacturer page, you can see the blue is automatically selected. Right now, since I have selected the changes back again to the page 1, if I try to select a different value on page 2, if I go here, you can see that changes uh, is uh, synced here on page 1. So it is working on page 1 to page 2 and page 2 to page 1 because we have selected sync on both the, both the pages. Right, so this is how sync slicer works. In case uh, if you don't want to uh, show this uh, slicer, uh, slicer selection on page 2, what you can do, you can go here and you can just uh, uncheck this view option for this page. So with that, uh, you will not see a slicer, but uh, whatever slicer selection that uh, user made on page 1, that is by default applied to all the pages. Okay, let's talk about the next scenario. So if I select the same sync slicers, you can see this sync slicer is available on brand wise sales and manufacturer. These are two different pages. If I go to this page, you can see same uh, slicer is available. If I go to the third page called sub products, here also I have a color name slicer. But if you see here when I select, so this view icon is uh, automatically visible or automatically selected only for these two pages. It is not uh, uh, automatically selected for this page. And again, if you see the color difference, these two are showing in a one color and this is in different color. To understand this difference, you need to understand how the sync slicer are uh, uh, configured. Uh, if you see here, this sync slicer, the column is coming from a table called a dim product. If I go to manufacturer, if I see, this is also coming from a same table, dim product, same column. But if I go to the third page, if you see here, this uh, slicer, this color name is coming from different table. So that is the reason. So this uh, sync slicer is not able to recognize that slicer because that is com coming from different table. But my requirement is still same, right? Uh, I want to allow users to choose a specific value for uh, color on this page. The same selection should be passed to all other pages, right? So let us try to enable this option, uh, uh, the sync slicer option for page called uh, sub products. So I'm going to enable this. So if I try to enable this, if I go to this page, you will see here uh, there is one more slicer added, right? So this is the one which we had already and this is recently added since we have enabled this option 
right if you see here so we have selected this uh, slicer and we have enabled this option so since this is coming from different table so since we have enabled that uh, view option the same column same slicer is added on this page as well right but uh, if you try to select anything right let's say we are selecting gray as a color here so if you go to manufacturer gray is selected if i go to sub product gray is selected but uh, we don't have any visuals added uh, from these tables right these visuals are coming from different tables that table has a separate column called color right so this will not work because uh, there is no uh, uh, connectivity between this column and then the, the table the other table where you have the color name so we can understood that uh, sync slicer will not work when you have different tables different columns used on different pages but the column may be same right so in this case color name is the column which is coming from different table but the same color name uh, column is used on uh, as a slicer for different pages right so how to uh, how to make sure whatever is selected on page 1 is reflected here even though it is a different table or a different column right so to achieve that you can go to this uh, same uh, slicer select this slicer go to sync slicer you will see an option called advanced option right so here you have to specify a name right it, it can be a different name it, it is not necessary that you have to give a exact column name that is coming from uh, so here you have to give a name of this uh, uh, group so basically we are trying to group different slicers across different pages so i'm just going to say this as color this color i'm just got copying this uh, group name now i am going to a page called sub product here i am selecting this slicer i am going to add that group name so if you see here as of now only this is selected view is selected so when i paste that same group name you can see these selections are automatically added because uh, this is a group name that we have created for the page 1 uh, slicer okay if i now go to first page if i try select any specific value for example green if i go to sub products green is automatically selected right if i try to select something else for example blue here on this page if i go back to this page blue is selected right so this is possible by creating a group name for these sync slicers right so with that we have achieved the expected result i hope you like this video please click the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues